Hello, I'm Ninja Greg, and you're watching The Ninja Greg Show. And this is my review of Marvel Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, The Black Order. Um, yeah, I don't have a physical copy of the game anymore because I... <laughs> I rather foolishly sold it before making this review, but, well, it was during a time, uh, not so long ago when I still wasn't sure if I was going to come back or not, so I wasn't sure if I was going to do a review or not. But, lesson learned, always hold on to possible review material, kids. Anyways, this is the game, this is the third installment in the game series under the Marvel Ultimate Alliance banner. It's not the third game of its kind, because before that we had X-Men Legends and X-Men Legends 2 Age of Apocalypse. But essentially, you uh, gather a team of four heroes and you uh, journey off into the Marvel Universe to battle the forces of evil. And because of the recent success of the Marvel, uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're of course going up against Thanos and his Black Order. So, um, a few positive things I want to say about the game first. It definitely plays and feels like a Marvel Ultimate Alliance game. If you've played the, any, any of those games before playing this one, it's, you're going to feel right at home. And I really like how it, it's, uh, everything about it from the character design to the environments to the story, it's all kind of this really unique, homogenous combination of both comics, both new and old, and what we've seen in the MCU. And I really wish there was another type of media that did that, you know, like uh, like maybe an animated movie or a animated series. And if there is, and I'm just not, and I just don't know about it, well, great, then I'll have to you know, see if I can find something like that. But yeah, I don't. As far as I know, I don't think anything before has really kind of had this really kind of perfect blending of what classic fans want to see and what newer fans want to see. And by newer fans, I mean people who are mostly familiar with Marvel characters, thanks to the MCU. And. Unfortunately, that's where my compliments with this game have to end. Uh, because one thing that kind of hindered my enjoyment of this game and led to me selling it off rather quickly was the difficulty. This game, unfortunately, feels kind of unbalanced. You know, as you as you go throughout the game, you're going to recruit other other Marvel characters, and while, while that's all well and good, and it's definitely a big part of these games, the new characters you get are automatically better than your than the team you're currently using. Like when when you journey to uh, the Dark Dimension and you find. Uh, characters like Doctor Strange or Elsa Bloodstone or Ghost Rider, they're like way l higher level than any other any other uh, heroes you have up to that point, and you have a considerable amount of heroes on your team by that point. So you've got these you've got these three characters who are already better than all these other characters and. It kind of feels like the game is trying to force you into using them, which is kind of a pain for me because, well, when it comes to RPGs and anything where you know, where you're leveling up different characters, I always believe in the philosophy of equal loving. You know, give everybody enough time to shine, make sure everybody's the same level, no, that way no one feels overpowered or overshadowed by others, or and you don't know, have one character who's kind of dragging the whole team down because of how underleveled they are, but I can't really do that with, uh, or rather I couldn't do that with Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. This really wasn't an issue in the past, but I don't know why it's an issue now. That's, so that's something that really, 
really needed to be fixed was the the difference in levels between between your heroes. Like maybe have maybe have the newer guys be maybe one or two levels higher, not like five. And that's another thing that's uh another thing that kind of bugged me about the game is difficulty. This game jumps up in difficulty quick. Even if you're playing on friendly, which is this game's easy mode. Now, I started off on mighty, which is I guess supposed to be the normal mode, but I had to switch it to friendly because things were starting to get really hard really fast. And yeah, I, I, I'm not against increasing difficulty or challenge in a game. That's how a game's supposed to go, you know? The further along you go, the better you get, the tougher the challenges are going to be. But it needs to be gradual. You can't be on this level and then be expected to be on this level suddenly. So, yeah, that's, um, that's... And because of these uh, because of these difficulty spikes, some of the later boss fights get really tough, and they don't feel satisfying to beat. They feel like a chore, a really long and tedious chore that you're just glad you're just glad you got over with. Like I don't know, we weeding your weeding your garden or mowing the lawn or something like that just you, you you were able to do it but you're just glad it's over and you got no satisfaction out of it <sighs> and it's a shame because I really want to like this game you know I everything I said about it you know the look the design certain character designs notwithstanding because seriously some of them are just downright hideous this game looks good. It, for the most part, plays pretty well. And, like I said, I really, really like that blending of the classic and the contemporary. And that, that aspect at least seemed perfect to me. But it's just a shame that it was ruined by an unbalanced mess. So... Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a big Marvel fan, but I don't think I can recommend this one. I, I mean, if it if it was a little bit better balanced, uh, maybe, but uh, I can't. I I really can't. So yeah, that's uh that's what I think of Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three: The Black Order. Did you guys play it? What did you think? Anyways, I'm Ninja Greg. You've been watching the Ninja Greg Show. And if you like what you see, please make sure to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And click that bell for notifications so you always know about when I post something new. I'll see you next time.